Hi guys and welcome. And if you're not already, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button if you do want to see more. Uh, today we're going to be painting up one of these Invicta Tactical War Suits. Yes, I did have to look that up because of course I don't own one. This is a commission that I'm currently doing, hence the fancy base. She doesn't there, but there we go. And basically we're going to be painting this up in Dark Angels Green. I know I've done a lot of Dark Angels, but it's one of the most requested um, things I've got going at this moment in time. Um, we do have a pilot separate. I've already painted them up in Caliban Green, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab the airbrush. If you haven't got an airbrush, do it with some paintbrushes. And we're going to paint up this lad in some Caliban Green as the base coat. Now we've got our green base on, I'm going to be doing some highlighting. Now I'm going to be masking off certain areas so I can create very unique looking um, sort of highlights rather than just having it as a, as a generic. Um, we can have a little bit going on there and then of course further down that line we can make sure that of course I can start putting that highlight down at the bottom. Um, I'm just using, I cracked, I'm just using some normal, uh, normal modeling masking tape to make sure that that's masked off. And just use Warpstone Glow as your highlight. I'm going to be airbrushing this on so I can create it in layers and give it a nice feathered effect. So now we've got that up, we've got this model parafilmed. If you need to know how to use that, I actually did a quick little tutorial video. Hopefully, I'll remember to stick some links up there somewhere. Um, and this model itself, we now need to do the red. So red, we're gonna have elements of that particular one red, although it is mainly gonna be silver. And we've got the bolter, the heavy bolter in its hand. That's also going to be a red color. Um, so let's, and, this on top so majority of the time with dark angel i tend to do weapons red that's a very old school way of doing it um so let's get out our red and get the airbrush and let's get cracking Now the red I'm using is actually, um, I like to call it corn red, but it's not corn red anymore. Oh, it is corn red, it's corn red. Hey! Um, that basically gives us a good base to be able to do a lot of the red on top of. Um, just make sure when you are doing it, like I say, you are covering everybody else. That's why I don't mind that the arm moves. It's so that, of course, I'm not gonna get overspray on every other figure. And then I'm gonna do kind of just like the trim, as it were, on that. So next up, let's get some Fire Dragon Bright into our red. Be very careful if you want to. Yeah, I mean, I, I find difficulty sometimes with red. I've got to be very careful with it. But if you're wanting to varnish before you do this particular stage, you can do. Varnish will seal it and it'll basically not come off when you're doing the, uh, the dry brushing. I just prefer to do, learning from my mistakes, I just gingerly dry brush the edges. I like a dry brush head highlight because it, it's a little bit fuzzy. I don't like it too much when it's perfect. When somebody decides to use a, uh, a bit of a brush, if that's how you like it, then go ahead. I like a nice bit of edge highlighting done with a dry brush. Get that red edge highlighted with your fire bright, and then we'll come back into the next stage. So it's coming on now, 
So what we're going to be doing is just highlighting. We've actually gone ahead and done a load of silver. Um, we've done the silver using some lead belcher, and of course, we've got null oil as the, uh, the shade. I ended up putting it on top. It's rolling nicely. I ended up putting it on top of one of my covers. Uh, we're now going to dry brush the whole thing with not the whole thing, the whole of the silver with some stone moss silver, making sure that we're not catching any of the other recesses. Should be quite easy to do as long as we've got some small dry brushes. And then come back to me. So, next stage after we've got that silver finished, we're going to be putting some black in. Now, basically, I've got some Abaddon black and I mixed it with a little bit of airbrush thinner. As you can see from my pot, that's still in the way. And we're just going to do this particular point. It's going to be done. And it will take a couple of coats because I've thinned up the mixture, which is quite nice and thin. And here, basically, on the zip pipes. Um, so all of that needs to be black. I'm also going to do the back of the launcher black as well. And then we'll come in to show you how to get this highlighted. Now the next step in the black for this one, we are going to do some edge highlighting. Using some Dark Reaper. A small basing brush here. I'm just going to get some of the palette. Turn it down with a little tiny bit of water. My Dark Reaper is quite thin anyway and then we're just going to go against the grain against the edge and you might want to put a couple of coats on and on the back if you want to do the pipes just do it with a dry brush but against the back we just yeah my face looks like gollum at this moment in time I'm trying to mix this right it's a little thin Edges of this equipment. That might be too thin, but it's fine for what I'm wanting it for. And like I said, dry brush these two bits. So, what we're going to do now is to highlight the black uh, again. I'm just going to use some administratum grey. I'm going to water it down, uh, probably a little thinner than you would normally like. That way we've got ultimate control on an edge highlight. So basically what I'm just gonna do is to run that across there. Now I know it doesn't look much and it's subtle, but it really does make the model stand out. And I'll be honest, really difficult when you've got a camera in front of your face. Now the reason I've kind of like watered it down quite a lot, if you have a look, when you've done and it's dried, come back to it, you might need, you might want to put a second lot on, but it does make, if you make any mistakes, it does make it a lot easier to cover up as well. There we go. And don't forget those pipes. We'll need a dry brush of this colour on them as well. So we've white scarred, uh, well we've put some grey sear on these areas here and here and we've also put some white scar in there as well just to try and give it a bit of a highlight. Um, I've also got the pilot handy. His head has been done with the grey sear and we are now ready to move on to the next stage. So one of the bits that we're going to be doing is just trying to quickly do these purity seals. I don't want to spend a long time on a lot of this. Um, so effectively the purity seals, we're just going to get some seraphin sepia. And bring it to short. Very quick puree seals. Look how fast that is. 
We'll get some text on those in a moment. Let's get this head painted. So I use dark old flesh. Move that way for a sec. And I'm gonna get kind of like a medium brush. A decent amount. Cable because I'll just go over that way to draw it away from that being too excessive. Well, let's let that dry. Okay, so. We've, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but we've actually put a bit of wild wood as uh, very sort of faint lines across the purity seals. And we're just going to cut back quickly to this chap. What we're going to do is to get some Cadian flesh to it. And I find my appropriate dry brush. There we go. We're just going to dry brush. Here we go. Easy peasy. So guys, kind of back in a different room, so I do apologize. Uh, right, so on the pilot, we're gonna just get a little bit of Blood Angel contrast red. And we're gonna, this is, I don't realize how difficult this is with a camera in front of you. And then we're just gonna, oh no, I have to get this close to my face. Well, Anyway, we're going to do that bit as well with the red. There you go. But, right, that's a lot better, isn't it? <laughs> right. Let that dry. We're nearly complete with this particular model. Um, I wouldn't say we've got a lot more to do here. Pretty much period seals and everything else. It's mainly going to be the base, which is going to be a lot of dry, but a lot of airbrushing. So on this now, as you can see, I've done a standard base. And I've got paint all over me. But I've done a standard base, and we are now going to, I can't already guess, uh, we're going to try a bit of uh, the old red on the base. We're going to try and create a lava base. So hopefully my consistency, my arm's getting in the way then. That's fine. So I am now, I'm going to take the muzzle off, I'm going to this to be quite detailed. I'm going to carefully add that so I don't lose it. Again. And we are going to just... There's a fast all the way down, but you know what to do. So now we've got this red down, we're going to be swapping over to some Fire Dragon Bright. Again, I'm going to take the tip of the airbrush off. We're just going to kind of focus it more towards the center, try to stay away from those edges as best we possibly can. Good looking orange. I wish I'd not glued this to this base. And now a little bit of um, Flash Geeks Yellow. That's the one. And again, we're going to be doing the same, but again, just we're going to be looking at the larger area. So don't really, if you are going to do that in there as an example, just a very light touch area. And here, we'll concentrate a bit more because that's a larger section. Try and make 
is shiny. Now, for one of the next steps, uh, you don't have to do this, you could just basically do it with uh, some gloss varnish to finish it off. I'm going to be putting a little bit of UV rays in just around the areas and spray it about. This is the stuff from Green Stuff World. To just give that sort of 3D look what I'm after. Alright, let's get some transfers on this lad. I would say he would be complete. Of course, always varnish as well. Thank you very much for watching my video on this Primaris Invicta Tactical War Suit. Yes, I did have to look that up. Uh, in Dark Angels Colors, of course, I've been doing a quite a large commission for Dark Angels. Uh, we've got the lava base down, it's looking pretty neat. Um, and of course, we've just got the transfers put on there and it's been varnished uh, it's a pretty simple color scheme it didn't really take me too long to be able to do it although it did in real life because of course I had, uh, I had to go backwards and forwards uh, between different houses but here we got there in the end so thank you very much for watching guys please like share subscribe hit that notification button if you do want to see more uh, hopefully I will be getting to get uh, hopefully I should be able to get some more painting tutorials out bi-weekly I'm saying bi-weekly I do try and get them out weekly but at the moment I'm saying bi-weekly due to just the whole house being a mess and me having to sort it as well so yeah I've moved but I've still got stuff to do um, also uh, hopefully we've got some battle reports coming out quite soon as well fingers crossed those are already in the pipeline uh, since of course I can start a game in from home so thank you very much for watching, we'll see you next time.